Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'm going to show you my custom PowerBox version 1.0. It even does Bluetooth. We'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the PowerBox version 1.0. This happens to be a custom design box that I designed myself. It will be on Thingiverse. This requires a pretty large printer, at least 11 half by 11 half by 15 and a half printer. This is quite tall and quite big. It took me five days to print this and this is 100% custom. This is my own design. And everything, all parts and all components and everything that you're gonna need will be in the list in the description below. And I would appreciate if you would purchase everything from the links below, because that will actually support me and my efforts in building this. I am an Amazon associate, and those links will help support me and my channel. So it offers an MP3 player on the front to two inch speakers, a 10 by 10 power watt amplifier on the inside, 12 volt, 14 amp hour battery, the typical one that you see in a UPS. It offers uh, LED lights. You could charge up to eight devices at once at 2.4 amps per device. And on the back, I have a power meter, a charging port here. There is a um, 12 volt, 1.25 amp charger built inside of here if you want to plug it into AC. And I also have the option if you wanted to use it, a solar panel to charge it and there's a top port on, on the top here to actually charge it like so. So if you're camping or whatever and you wanted to charge this, this six watt panel will keep this thing charged during the day if you happen to be outside, you know, and, that, and that's, that's what you can have. You can go up to I think 15 watt panel on this without any solar controller. And that's pretty much it. So there are also uh, on this box here, I also have, I also included LED lights. So if you're out camping, I chose blue because blue was the color of this whole thing. Because if you turn on the um, USB ports as well, they're actually blue as well. So I made this. Um, so everything cranking, lights and everything like that. It actually, if you press the little rocker switch on the back, it turns on the back panel and the back panel tells you how much wattage you are using. So you can tell how long your battery runtime will be. So this thing could do about 144 to 168 watt hours of total runtime. It has an energy uh, um, located on the bottom right of this meter and how much current you're using and how many watts you're using at the current time. With the lights and the USB ports just on without being in use is using 4.1 watts, which is really nothing. So. Um, and that's a momentary on. So this meter is not on until you actually hit the, the momentary rocker on the side. Okay. This again, folks, is a custom power box. I made this from scratch. I designed it in Fusion 360 and all the plans will be on Thingiverse and everything, all the schematics and everything will be there. If you do not see the schematic, it will be there. I'm actually working on it as we speak. It's complicated. And I want to get this out there so at least if you wanted to start printing it, you'll at least have it. It took me five days to print this thing. And it's quite busy on the inside. So this went through many revisions. Many revisions. It's not even funny. So the first one was this size. It was too tiny. And I actually had two meters on this one. And I abandoned the second meter. It's about the same size as this. But if you notice, there are two lights in this one. And only one in this one. So I made some modifications to the design. This also had two meters as well. It all, it'll take about one spool of material to print this. This is the MP3 player and it works very well. It's very loud actually. Slow as it down. There is a built-in 10 by 10 watt amplifier and it's actually on the top of the battery. And you can see the red light through the orange and it, and it just kicks butt. Let me go through a couple of songs here so you can actually crank one of these up. And, and, it, and it works awesome. So if you're out 
and about. And it also comes with a remote control. So if you want to stop it and stuff like that, there's a built-in EQ. You can change the quality of the sound. It sounds very good. You can increase the volume with the remote control. You can change the track number. You can do anything you want. It even has a radio built in. It even does Bluetooth. So if you want to stream from your cell phone to the device, you can do that as well. Um, all the, I try to price out and get the best components for the best price possible. So it, does, it doesn't break the bank in terms of quality. Um, the only drawback I do have with the MP3 player is that it's not the amplifier. For some reason, the Bluetooth side of it's a little noisy. You just hear a, um, like a whistle. Okay, that's, that's annoying. But that's the only issue I have with that. And it's actually an MP3, it's this device problem. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. And the FM radio does work, but we're in a lower level, so it doesn't get any signal. But it's an incredible system. It has my name, Joe Tech Tips, on the top. It also has the PowerBox version uh, 1.0 on the, on, the, on the top as well. And it also has the date of when the top was created, which was um, April 26, 2019. Again, um, I put pride into everything that I build, and this is the coolest freaking thing. It also, as well as, if you notice, the speakers are bare. So I made a, a modification and I printed a speaker cover. So this cover will go over like so and protect the speakers. I still have to hot glue it on and then that'll protect the speakers. And I printed it black so it matches all the other components around the, the whole thing So because it looks black as well. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care and we'll see you next time.